looks like my lunch has arrived. I'm going to sit down and eat my lunch while watching the Rick and Dave comic book hour. Can't you see I'm trying to read my comic books? Oh, I got something for you that's better than comic books. Oh, really? Yeah. I bet I know what it is. Do you? I do. It is the Halloween comic fest. You bet your boots it is. I knew it. Saturday, October 28th at Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. And they're also celebrating their 37th year of being in Whoa. business. I know. You heard it, guys. Get here. Come in costume. Yes, please. And there's all kinds of stuff. There's free comic books for people. And we're having a huge sale with over 40,000 comic books for only $1 each. Oh, bring your dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there might be some dancing. Who knows? So come on down to Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. It's an event you don't want to miss. And yet somebody did last year. Hey, welcome to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. I'm Dave. And I'm Rick. And in this issue, we are going to talk about Batman and Harley Quinn. That's the latest DC movie that came out here about a week or two ago. And, uh, well, Rick, what do you think? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, we're going to start with you. Well, not only is, it's, not, it's probably just Batman, and Quinn is also Nightwing, which is really cool. Uh, the movie, overall, I thought was a good movie. I thought it was really well executed. Uh, the Harley Quinn character voiced by... Melissa Ranch. Who is also known as... Um, as Bernadette on Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Her voice was okay. I mean, it was a good voice. Okay, it was a good voice. I thought it was really cool. I do not want to adjust to it. Like, oh, because it almost sounded like Howard's mom for a, for a few seconds. <laughs> uh, Storyline, let's see. They have, they, of course, there's a reason for them to get Harley Quinn help. She's oh. out on parole. And uh, so, Poison Ivy. That's why you start with me. <laughs> 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 well, anyway. Uh, Poison Ivy and Florinic Man are the bad guys, and uh, so they're wreaking all kinds of havoc. So that's why Batman decides he needs to have Harley Quinn help. Well, um, Harley Quinn kind of makes her makes the decision for him a little bit. Well, they went looking for her, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they went and looking Nightwing, for her. Nightwing did find her, didn't he? Yeah, and then we <laughs> found her all right. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Got a little Batman Catwoman action going on. <laughs> well, well. Nightwing. But anyway, <laughs> anyway that, that's a good scene. I mean, the whole thing, I mean, there's some, there's stuff going back that, you don't understand everything that she says and stuff that goes on there, even though it's euphemisms and some other thing going back, it's some of the things she says and, you know, because, well, actually, okay, yeah, Nightwing is trying to find Harley Quinn, but Harley Quinn actually finds Nightwing and ties him up to him in his apartment bed, so. Yeah. That's probably okay. trying to see okay. what she has him. Don't to begin any funny ideas. To her bed. Too late. In, Mar in her apartment. It's funny. Yeah, her things they always kind of thought you and Batman bad. didn't like girls. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, so anyway, they have, yeah, some fun. But anyway, um, so the, the movie also is done in the old uh, animated um, TV style. Um, so that was a lot of fun to see that. Uh, Bruce Tim. It was uh, done in that style, but heck, yet. This is not an episode you will find on Saturday morning on the WB or CW or what have you. No. You're not going to find this on the Saturday no. morning, that's for sure. No. Not when Harley Quinn swearing throughout the whole movie, which is kind of funny. Well, there's also a, a, a swearing in situations and stuff. But there's things that, other things that go on that if you look closely at it, that are also going on in the background. Yeah, he caught something during the uh, duet. Same thing in that bar. And then bar, whatever bar. Yeah, okay, whatever <laughs> oh yeah, if you like to hear, if you, if you like other kind of childish humor, you'll like this one too as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of goofy stuff going on in here, but however, to get back to the storyline, without the, if, you, if you take away all that humor, like all the childish humor and some of the euphemisms, and you put the story up by itself, it's a good storyline. And the lethal ones were being used appropriately, I thought. Mm -hmm. You know, because Poison Ivy has a plan with, with what's his name? Forensic Man? What's Flor his name? Florinic, Floronic Man. Floronic Man. AKA J Jason Woodrow. 
And he's from another dimension, isn't he? Yeah, he's apparently a guy from another dimension, has a very, well, he's a plant guy. And, and this version, Poison Ivy is kind of a plant mutant person. And uh, of course, the whole thing ends up with a little encounter with Swamp Thing. So. Oops, right there. Yeah, that's all right. But you gotta get involved. If you have, you gotta, if you have Plus, things going on, he's gonna make an appearance. But as far as Batman, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn working together, yes, Harley Quinn did her part, and she worked well with the team. I mean, yeah, there was some stuff, but she worked well with the team. I thought. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. and and then there's a surprise. And then you're not really sure what side she's on to begin with. I mean, she kind of plays both sides a little bit, but yeah. So they kind of have her playing on. The anti-hero kind of thing, I guess, right? Where she's yeah, a bad guy, yeah. but yet a hero right. in this situation. So, it was pretty cool. So, they've been playing her that way in the comic books quite a bit, too, I think. So, but, uh, And she was wearing her uh, traditional, traditional outfit, costume outfit. Her little outfit, see? She started out with her kind of risque woman. Then she, as we got into it, she went back to her WB traditional one. Yeah. So went back to the classic Harley Quinn outfit. So that, I like that. I mean, I, don't, I like them both, but I like seeing the traditional come back every once in a while. Yeah. And I guess I found out there was a back seat in the Batmobile. I think, I think yeah, the, there, there was. was we, we didn't know there was a back seat in the Batmobile, but apparently there is. No, I, we, I don't think we ever got the tour of the Batmobile. No. But she was back there, so I yeah, figured. At least, at least in the animated version of the Batmobile, there is. In fact. So. And really, there's nothing. I don't think there's any Commissioner Gordon in there at all, is there? No, there wasn't. No, it's just pretty much. I don't think there's any more. Batman, supporting. Nightwing, and Harley Quinn were the three. And some other uh, villains and, showed up for some. Yeah, they ended up. They moved the story along, but yet there was no other. Mm -hmm. I don't think Alfred was in there, was he? Was Alfred in there? No. So, babe, this is bare bones. This is just bare bones. Yeah. Batman. And he ended up in that bar with all the henchmen, but which was kind of funny. And yeah, that was that's a good scene. Yeah. So. So yeah. So straight forward. Uh, uh, pretty good action throughout the whole thing. Yeah. And, I, and all the voice actors did. You know, the guy who voiced Nightwing did a good job with them. Mm -hmm. And of course, Kevin Conroy's going to do his oh, Batman. He, he is Batman. As far as I'm concerned, when it comes to any actor, yeah. Well, anyway, so we give I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up too. DC has a great record when it comes to the animated stuff, and this continues the tradition right through with this one. All right. So go out and buy it. So I'll catch you later. All right. Bye. And good day.